Hello, in this video we will talk about Square Line Studio and LVGL. Yes, for many years I refused to use LVGL and Square Line Studio, mostly because I don't like the idea that software ge generates code for me, code which is later very hard to understand and read. Also, I noticed that many projects made with LVGL and Square Line combo looks the same. A few years ago many projects for ESP32 had the same template, this one. And I hate templates. But I decided to give it one more one more try and I really like it. And I need to say yeah, for complex projects with many screens and menus I will never never again again write my code from scratch like I used to do. In this video I will show you a few projects I made recently using Square Line Studio. I will explain what was easier than usual and what was harder. Not harder, confusing is better word. But first I need to say something about our sponsors. Sponsor of this video is PCBWay. Did you know that PCBWay will soon have its own birthday? Yes, for 10 years they have been making high quality PCBs and that's not all. They are always trying to offer new and uh, different services for makers such as uh, CNC machining, 3D printing, PCB assembling. They were my first sponsor f four years ago and it is always a pleasure to work with PCB. Happy birthday PCB! Ok, let's start. Squareline Studio is a software that helps you to create user interface. You will still need to write and edit code in IDE but less than usual. How this works? It is simple. First you need to design your user interface and then you need to export files. Squareline will, will generate LVGL code and store it in desired folder. Yes, there will be many files, but don't be afraid, you don't need to touch them. In this case, the only file I need to edit is this Arduino file for Arduino IDE. In Squareline Studio you can add screens, controls like buttons, labels, images, fonts and more. Part I love the most are events, image handling, fonts handling, and in fact I don't need to care about touch coordinates anymore. LVG will take care of that. And most important, I don't need to re-upload code so many times. I can see all the changes here, and I also I can test my user interface directly on PC. Here you can see project I made just to learn how Square Line Studio works. So here you can, um, this is like mini smart home controller, here you can set room, here you can see actual temperature, here you can see set desired temperature, humidity, you can dim lights, turn them off and on, turn fan, this is a Lilygo T display AMOLED touch version. Very nice board. Uh, maybe a little small for this task, maybe this one would be better, but I decided to use this one. I will share a bin file so you can flash it using uh, ESP tool, browser-based ESP tool, so just to see, so if you have this board you can check how it works. Here is another project I made. This project I made for one company in Australia, this is a timer, clock and timer with built-in countdown timer. Very simple. On this side we have real-time clock chip with a battery and on this side 
will output signals to light controller. And here is another project I made using Spherline Studio. This is simple clock, which my client client wanted to install in car. He will make old car modern. Here is menu for setting time and here is menu to move whole whole display area up and down. What I like the most with Square Line Studio is that you have these built-in controls which are very easy to use. Programming this would be really hard or programming some type of keyboard or something. Overall I like it very much and I will use it a lot. Some things are way easier than writing plain code. What is not that easy is getting started. It was not easy to set up all the libraries and everything. So I decided to make a series of tutorials to help you out with Squareline Studio. I still haven't decided which board we will use, but I know one thing. It needs to have a touch display because we will use these sliders, buttons and other controls. Please write in comments if you have some ideas. And that's it. If you are new here, please subscribe so you will not miss new episodes. If you want to support my work and help me, you can buy me a coffee or you can become my Patreon or YouTube member or none of the above, it is fine. Thank you for watching my video, have a nice day and I will see you maybe next week. Bye!